You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't remember. Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles. I'm CGH number four. Today we're gonna to show you a shorty do that we're calling the Dutch Lace Headband, which is a very beautiful variation of a braided headband. So you're gonna love it. Um, but first, we have two very exciting pieces of information for you. Number one, we actually won the Pop Sugar Circle of Moms vote off. So thank you, thank you, thank you to the 60,000 of you that voted for us. We are so grateful for that. And number two, the twins have actually officially uploaded their first video today. And their YouTube channel name is Brooklyn and Bailey, all smushed together. So in their video, they tell you how to distinguish between them. So if you've ever wondered which one's Brooklyn and which one's Bailey, you can now figure it out. We will link to their channel in our description box below. Go make sure you check it out and subscribe. So we are gonna start her hair. We've already put some curl into it. You can see she's got some curlies. And you can see that her hair is just past her shoulders, so it's not very long. And we use the reverse Numi wand. If you don't know what a reverse is, it starts skinny and gets wider to do that, the curls. I love that wand on short hair because it gives such a, I don't know, it gives such a great texture to really short hair. Now, then we're gonna part the hair. So take your rat tooth comb or regular comb and tip them sideways. And I'm gonna go from about ear to ear. You can do it up closer to the forehead or back farther, either way. This is just where I prefer it. You're just gonna put the part along, tip your head up a little bit, babe. And then once you have it parted off, take an elastic and just kind of pull all that back hair out of the way. I'm just gonna add a rubber band right here to just hold it out of the way. Okay, now I'm gonna have her tip her head to the side. And you can see our part line right here. And I try to run the braid as close to the part line as possible. So I'm gonna tip, tip, tip. Thank you. Pick up a section of hair right here next to her ear. Divide it into three pieces. And remember, we're doing a Dutch braid, so your middle piece is going over your outside edge pieces. But you're only going to pick up hair from the front, which is what makes it a lace braid. So you can see I'm picking up hair and adding it in right there. But I'm not adding hair into the back at all, only to the front. And we're just gonna continue down the front of her hair. And like I said before, you can run the braid up closer to her forehead if you want. I just, I like to accent the lace part of it by pulling it back farther because then you can really see the stranding coming in, which I think makes it look really different. It's a great variation. You can see I'm just still only adding hair to that front piece, the front side. And if you're like her, she's got little babies, don't worry about them, little baby hairs. You can tip your head up a little bit, please. Thank you. And we're just gonna keep braiding like this. You can see, I love the fact that you can just really see the stranding interplaying into the braid. We're gonna go down until we pick up the last little bit. Try to keep it tight right here. It has a tendency to kind of pull away from the head. And then you get like this little poof right here on the braid. So just try to make sure you give it a little extra tug right there. Now there's two options. Number one is you can continue just a regular braid at this point all the way down and secure it with an elastic. So if I went all the way down and then did an elastic and then it would just hang in her hair, a nice braid accent. Or you can go ahead and take a bobby pin and right behind the ear, just cross two bobby pins like this and hold that hair securely. Now, for littler kids like the rubber band, the elastic might be a better option if you're worried about them playing at recess or doing other outside activities. For a little bit older person, you could do this and then it just hides like this securely behind her ear and it has more of just a headband effect. I'm gonna leave it like this, and then what I'm gonna go back to just add a little tiny more pizzazz, I'm just gonna go back and just slightly pull, won't pull the bobby pins out, on these edges, just to give it a little bit more fluff to the braid. You guys know I call this pancaking. Okay, tip your head down just a minute for me. Thank you. This just makes the braid, it gives the illusion that the braid and the hair is thicker than it really is and uh, makes the braid stand out more, which makes it more noticeable. 
And then you can go and loosen the front pieces if you want. And there you have the Dutch lace headband. Let me give you a spin so you guys can see how beautimous it looks. Tell them what my favorite things about you are. I know it's my freckles. Yes, when she was born, she had the sweetest, tiniest little baby nose that I just instantly fell in love with. And the little bit older she gets, the more little spattering of freckles she gets across her cheeks. And she's the only one in our family that has freckles, huh? Yep. So I just adore them about her. So we hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And don't forget to check out the YouTube channel, Brooklyn and Bailey. We'll link into it in the description box below. They're really nervous about getting subscribers, so please go over and show them some love. Check out their video, we hope you enjoy, and we will see you guys later. Bye. You want me to get your tickles?